Hello everyone! I decided to switch to open source and free CAD programs. After testing different open source and free CAD software, I realized that free CAD might be the best open source and free CAD program. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to start with 3D modeling in free CAD. We will model the part that you can see over here. Actually, I 3D printed this part based on this 3D model. On this side, we have a hole. Then we have two cylinders, the first one and the second one, and we have the plate over here. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to start with the 2D sketch, how to extrude, and then how to add holes. This is the initial window that you will see after you open FreeCAD. You can create a new model by clicking either over here or by clicking on File and clicking on New. Let's start with 3D modeling. Click over here and click on Part Design. Then make sure that this window tasks is open and click on Create Body. And over here, click on Create Sketch. Now, you need to select the sketch plane. I will select XZ plane. So click on XZ plane. And now you're in XZ plane. First, let's explain how to create 2D geometrical shapes and objects. If you click over here, you can create a point. Then if you click over here, you can create a line. Then over here, you can create an arc. And over here, you can create a circle. And you can explore some other options over here. Let's create a circle by clicking over here. Now, before I actually create a circle, I need to explain how to zoom in. I'm using a mouse with three buttons. I have left button, right button, and the middle button is a roller button. You zoom in by basically rolling the middle button. Okay, so here I will center the circle at zero, zero. And over here, I will create a circle with the radius, for example, of 10 millimeters. I can zoom in and then I can select 10 millimeters. Here it is, almost. That's it. Okay, next we need to create a flat part over here. How to do that? Well, I will cl simply click on the line and I will draw the line. If I want to draw a straight line, I will hold Ctrl, and you can see that I'm now drawing a horizontal line. And press the left mouse button key. Next, I need to trim the edges. To trim the edges, I need to press over here. And you can simply trim this edge, this edge, and this part over here. That's it. Here, I need to mention that I'm using a blender convention for zooming in or zooming out for the pan view and for rotation. And if you hold the mouse cursor over here, you can see how to navigate. You can see how to select, how to zoom, rotate, pan, and pan. Okay, so to pan, you need to hold shift and the middle mouse button pressed, and then you can move left and right. This is the shape of the hole. Let's close this sketch. Once you close the sketch, you will be in the 3D view. Next, I will create another sketch. That is, I will create a 2D sketch of my outer cylinder. To do that, click over here on Create Sketch, or you can click over here. I will click over here, and then let's select the plane. Now, over here again, we will create a circle centered at zero zero and for example the radius should be around 28 here it is okay perfect now let's close this sketch and let's go back to the model click over here now you can see over here that you have first sketch our hole, the shape of the hole, and the second sketch, the shape of the cylinder. Next, let's learn how to extrude. To extrude, you need to select the proper sketch, in my case this cylinder, 
and then you need to click over here on pad and over here you need to select the length click over here to bring up this window and I will extrude in the opposite direction and for the distance for example of 100 millimeters and here it is perfect and over here don't forget to click on OK now we are back in the model window and over here you can see a new object called pad next let's learn how to create this hole over here there are several ways to create the hole or better to say the pocket the easiest approach is to select the shape of the pocket and then to click over here and you can see over here that we are creating the pocket now the depth will be let's say 20 millimeters and click on OK and here it is here's our pocket looks very good to rotate hold the middle mouse button that is the roller and simply move the button again to zoom in roll the middle button to pan hold shift press the middle button and move left and right our next goal is to create a cylinder over here to do that we need to create a new sketch let's try it with the standard option to create a new sketch we need to click over here however there is an issue we can either select this plane this plane or this plane and none of these planes are actually the plane that contains this circle over here so click on cancel the proper way to do that is to first create a sketch containing this plane and then to offset that plane such that it contains this face so let's do that first let's create a sketch and let's select this plane over here okay then click on close and here is the sketch click on close okay next we need to offset this sketch to this plane to do that we need to use this option if you just now keep the mouse over here you can see that this option will map sketch to face first of all we need to select the support of a sketch that is we will select this face then we click over here then let's select the sketch in our case it's sketch 002 and click on OK and here we just click on OK since we already selected this plane and that's it OK now if we double click on this sketch we will be in the correct plane that is the plane containing the face of the cylinder okay now we can extrude or better to say now we can draw a shape for example a circle let's position this circle at zero zero and let the radius be approximately 10 click on close and here it is we can see that the circle is actually modeled in this plane next step is to extrude this circle and to create a cylinder so select this circle over here let me just do it carefully or you can also select the sketch and then click on pad and let's select the distance for example 50 millimeters and here it is simple as that and finally let's complete this model to complete this model let's create a new sketch select this plane in this plane let's draw a rectangle for example here it is then click on close then let's extrude this rectangle we can do it easily select the sketch then click over here on pad and select the distance for example the distance will be in my case minus 30 and click on OK and here it is 
here's our part and click on OK. That's it. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.